Kids are doing more these days outside the classroom than just homework. And Adams students have been jumping into robotics to build skills necessary for both steam fills and their futures. KIMT News 3's Marine Dudley went to a robotics tournament hosted by Southland Schools to learn more. 39 teams are here competing at Southland Middle School High School in a robotics tournament. I spoke with a couple of kids and a teacher about robots and how it helps kids develop skills they may need in the future. Kids can compete in middle school or high school in robotics before they can compete. However, they have to build the robot. All get hands on opportunity to be working on the robot. They can build, they can program CAD skills. They're also learning some of those soft skills that we need them to have when they enter the workforce. Skills like community communication and problem solving. For Southland senior Micah Johnson, the skills you learn in robotics can be applied anywhere. There's pretty much any field uh, can be applied to robotics. You get so much experience, not only with like building things and mechanically, but also teamwork. Johnson has been participating in robotics since fourth grade, and he wants his team to be able to go to state. With today's competition, he was ready and excited to see what's been done at other schools. I'm really excited. We've been working for about like two months on this robot. Uh, it's really nice to be able to get other competition and get some practice. Uh, against other teams from all around the state. Southland had eight teams participating at the competition today, and there's more they were able to learn at the competition than just teamwork. Uh, it's a very special feeling. You know, you get to uh, um, communicate with other teams, see how other robots work, um, experience uh, special matches. You know, maybe you win some, you lose some. Some things work, some things don't. It's how it goes. According to Mortensen, Southland Schools Team Blaze is now sitting at number one in the state for skills in robotics and also won the tournament today. In Adams, Maureen Dudley, KIMT News 3. Well, congrats to Team Blaze there. Now, if you are interested in starting a robotics team at your school, you can reach out to Southland High School's robotics teacher to learn how to get started. Contact information will be on our website, KIMT.com.